Volunteers are searching the shoreline along the Delaware Bay for horseshoe crabs. The ancient creatures are coming ashore to spawn. So I always pick them up by the front of the shell. So um, that way, uh, if, you, if you pick them up at the sides, um, like if you pick them up at the sides, that's another, another way that you can do it. Um, you never want to pick up a, a crab by the tail. The male crabs are usually attached to the larger females. The males have special front claws that help them hold on. So when you think about when they're spawning, the, the male attaches himself to the female. So his little club is what holds on to her shell. So we were, we were talking about Biologists before. only drill through the first top layer of the crab shell to attach the tag and in an area where the animals won't be harmed. I'm just gonna drill in here. Wayne's got the tag ready. And it slips right in. So that's perfect. Easy. Over the last 12 years, about 7,000 crabs have been tagged here. Most have been recited on Delaware Bay beaches, although a few have been seen as far north as Long Island and as far south as Maryland. It has the address of the Fish and Wildlife Service, the phone number, and uh, the website um, to, to call in um, the tag. And then there's a, a unique number on, on, each, on each tag. The data from the program is used to protect habitat and to help determine the age of individual crabs. The, the crabs are like nine or ten years old when they come up to spawn. So if, if, you, tag a, if you tag a crab and then it's recited like eight years later, you know that that crab is at least 17 years old. The Delaware Bay is home to the world's largest population of horseshoe crabs. New Jersey placed a moratorium on harvesting the crabs for fishing bait after their numbers plummeted. The crab's eggs are the food source for migrating shorebirds such as red knots. That species has been nominated to be placed on the federal threatened and endangered species list. This work is conducted during new or full moon high tides. The Delaware Riverkeeper Network and other organizations are helping count and tag the crabs this spring. And they are um, a critical part of our bay ecosystem. Ecologically they're important, economically they're important. Um, and, you know, and they're just part of the, uh, of the world that is the Delaware Bay. And so this is part of the science that's going to help us protect the horseshoe crabs. Precautions are taken with the female crabs. Most of the time, the females are really dug into the sand and you just don't want to disturb them when they're spawning. Volunteers are needed to help with the tagging and counting. Children seven years of age and older can participate. For more information on how to take part, go to www.horseshoecrabtagging.org. They get the opportunity to learn some of the science about the horseshoe crabs and, and to be part of a scientific analysis that really um, benefits scientists across the world. And you get the good feeling of knowing that you are coming out and hands-on helping to protect the ecological systems of the Delaware Bay, the Delaware Estuary, and the Delaware River. There's really nothing like it.